Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm running a bit behind schedule again for Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. Easter got in the way. Work the work before Easter and I went away for Easter and I came home to no internet. So I've had to have all that fixed, but we have a plan and we will get there eventually. First of all, I did get March's page finished. I started off doing this bit down here. This was just cut out of a piece of fabric that I had and I just hand stitched all around to pop that down. The leaves were just cut out of an old cushion cover and I just embroidered all these rows on to hold them down. And then I realized that when I'm doing these pages, I try to make them look very realistic. Like I'm trying to paint with fabric and stitches. And I thought, hang on, I can't have all my pages looking like that. So when it got to the butterflies, I just went a little crazy. I used sequins and beads and little French knots and I just went to town. They're totally fanciful, but I actually love how they turned out. And that page was finished. So now we are moving on, oops, with a little bit of rubbish, to April's. Um, I did not have any quilting fabric. The only quilt I have is a gorgeous wool quilt that I made for my daughter when she was a baby. But a couple of weeks ago, I went, had to go to the chemist and just up from the chemist is an op shop. And I decided to hop in there and have a look and see what they had on offer. And I managed to buy this piece of white quilt fabric for a grand total of $2, but it was glaringly white. So the first thing I did, I got some watercolor out and put down a bit of color. Had to just tone down that white. And this started because I have these gorgeous little things in my stash. They're four little squares that I received in a Happy Mail swap ages ago and obviously never used them, but they are Australian bush scenes. And somehow I definitely want to incorporate these and I decided a rustic cabin out in the bush type arrangement is going to be what I'm aiming to achieve with this page. So I went through my stash and I have nothing in browns or anything like that. So guess what? I got the paint out again. This was a piece of cream fabric that has these woven lines in it. So I added some brown paint and decided that could look quite bush cabinish, right? Like see if you have a look, is there a, no, I don't have a cabin one here, but a typical Australian house out in the bush made from timber. So together with a little bit of embroidery, we're going to make that look like a little cabin decided on that much. Now, again, in Australia, out in the bush, you use galvanized iron to do your roof. So I painted a piece of just plain cream rough fabric that I had with a light gray. And that is going to be my roof because that's what a typical roof looks like. In Australia, they're all, they're, they're flat on top. They're not pointy. I noticed a lot of people are doing pointy roofed houses in their work, but no, I'm going to do a flat one. Um, and I'm going to embroider just some lines across it to sort of give the appearance of galvanized iron. So we decided on that much. Then we need a front door. So I got another piece of fabric and painted that a very dark brown. And then the idea of this is I may even again paint a couple of lines to sort of make it look like timber, as well as I will do a door frame. So we have a door and a little handle. And then I decided we need very basic window coverings. So I grabbed this tiny little scrap I've got and I've sort of cut out the shape of a curtain. So again, I will stitch a frame 
to represent a window. And I will stitch around these and these will be like little curtains in my window. Very basic because Aussie bush farm sheds, house things are not ornate. So we sort of keep that a bit basic. Then I think I want to incorporate Mr. Kookaburra up here somewhere, somehow. We might have to move this down a little bit. And I thought then maybe um, an extra branch embroidered and a few more leaves to provide a bit more density there. But I love Mr. Kookaburra. He's just about a given to find out in the bush, waking you up nice and early in the morning. And then seeing this is probably like a little farmhouse, I think I would love to incorporate this tractor somehow. So I was thinking maybe something along the lines of this, we could have the tree showing out above the roof and I might even trim this off and stitch that down. Cause I don't know if those trees sort of really match my theme here, but we'll see about that. Then it's Australia, it's very sunny here. So I had this white flower, I've sprayed it yellow. I think I probably need to spray it again. And I think I'm going to turn that into a sun. And then I also grabbed these things out of my stash. Not quite sure how I'm going to use them yet. This one I was thinking I may even try and turn into a fence or something. If I embroider some posts and make it look a bit like a fence, don't know yet. And then I grabbed this one as well because the colour sort of matched. I don't know how I'm going to use it. But I'll work on that. I just thought they might be handy and the colours sort of work perfectly. And don't think we're going to fit Mr Kangaroo or the Wombats in. I think they're a little bit big um, unless I sort of put the Kangaroo down in the corner here. But I probably won't. I would rather use this area to embroider some native looking flowers. We won't have too much grass out there not usually something you see a lot of even though all these guys have lots of grass on it but let's be honest it's pretty dry in a lot of our farming land but we'll see I might use it yet I haven't decided but I will definitely I definitely want to use those two I might leave it at that and then just you know do some garden down here so that is my plan I have got a lot of stitching to do I'm hoping I might get this finished before the end of the month what is today today's the 19th Okay, so I've got 11 days. I might just be able to pull this off. It would be nice to catch up. I feel a bit behind at the moment. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I know it's not a race and I'm really loving this and I'm loving just being creative instead of just stitching cross stitch like I have done in the past. This makes the brain work and makes you try and, you know, come up with something that's a little bit different. So I thought that's why I went with the Aussie bush theme out on the farm, I thought that was something very different, but very unique to where I live. Not, I mean, I live in the city, but it is Australian. So I thought we'll try something different this time. So there we go. That is my update. I hope you're all enjoying your stitching. Um, you're probably way ahead of me. But look, it's better that I keep going than give up just because I'm running behind again. So until next time, stay healthy and stay safe. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up just to let YouTube know that um, content is worth seeing. And if you're not already a subscriber, I would love it if you joined the family. So bye for now. Take care.